up, my friends? It's right back here. What you've been seeing is some footage from my most recent trip to Super Nintendo World, Disneyland, and CES 2024. It was about 10 days on the road, a long time away, but yes, I made it to Super Nintendo World for the second time in less than a year, and it was a blast. It probably wasn't the smartest decision to go to two theme parks before CES because, you know, all the walking and things like that, but I powered through. What was also cool about this trip is that I had a unique opportunity to take with me a new camera to try out and that camera is the Insta360 Ace Pro. This is Insta360's latest action camera that packs some unique features like 8K video, a flip up screen, and AI smarts to improve low light shooting and auto edit all of your footage together. The Ace Pro is an interesting little camera that doesn't try anything wild or crazy like the Go 3, One RS, or X3 that came before it. It surprisingly plays it safe, which is a bit odd for Insta360, who is known for uniquely designed cameras. Nonetheless, I have a lot to say about this camera from my past month with it, so without further ado, let us get right into this. Okay, so first let's talk about the design. The Ace Pro is a very familiar looking camera that doesn't stray far away from the typical action camera. If you've used a GoPro, Osmo Action, or even Insta360's own One RS before, you're not going to be surprised by much here. The biggest difference between the Ace Pro and those cameras is the flip up touchscreen that it has. This screen makes it incredibly easy to see what you're filming, change settings, you know, the whole nine yards. The screen is probably my favorite thing about the design of the Ace Pro. The touchscreen is responsive, it's easy to control things, and I found the ergonomics of the Ace Pro as a whole to be great all around. The camera is a bit big and heavy compared to other action cameras, and that's mostly due to the huge Leica lens on it. Speaking of, one design decision that I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed about is that the lens cover protecting the lens isn't removable. Insta360 tells me that this lens guard can withstand even the most intense activities, so I didn't worry much about it. If it does does get marked or scratched up, you will have to send the camera back to Insta360, who luckily offers free maintenance for a year from the time of purchase, which is good news. Still, I would be sure to pick up a case alongside this camera if you decide to get it. Aside from that, the build quality here is rock solid, and the new magnetic latching system that it utilizes allows you to easily mount and dismount the camera in a snap. Throughout my time with it, the Ace Pro never steered me wrong. It felt familiar, yet new and exciting thanks to Welcome to Editions like the big screen that it has. Next, image quality. As you've been seeing throughout this video so far, the Ace Pro delivers fantastic results. No matter if I was shooting in the day or at night, walking or on the bobsled ride at Disney, this camera did a fantastic job keeping things crisp and stable. Overall, I think the video quality out of this thing is pretty good. I shot most of what you're seeing at 4K 30 frames per second, I swapped between different focal lengths, and I also used regular and pure video mode. Pure video is where you'll find those AI and enhancements that improve image quality in low light environments. When it got dark out, I always made it a point to switch over to that mode. While it doesn't drastically make a difference in night shots, you can see that the footage is smoother and is actually usable instead of a grainy mess. Shooting in low light situations is always going to be a challenge for action cameras with small sensors like this, but the Ace Pro does a solid job making up for its shortcomings with that pure video mode. Another cool feature here is AI highlights. This automatically finds the best moments in your shots and allows you to keep what you want and get rid of what you don't. It's a good way to free up space on your SD card if you're running low on storage. I also found this to be a handy tool to have to save time with editing since it technically auto trims your clips. Other than that, you're going to find modes here like time shift, time lapse, loop recording, star lapse, and all the standard things that you'll find on other Insta360 cameras. Yes, there's also gesture controls too for starting and stopping recording and taking photos. One of the big differences with the Ace Pro though is that it can capture 8K video. I didn't shoot much 8K on my trip, but I did try it out and it looks very, very good, but there are limitations with it. The downsides to shooting 8K here is that you can't shoot above 24 frames per second, you can't shoot for very long since it takes up a lot of space, and the battery will drain really quick. At this point, 8K is like 4K was a few years ago, so it might not be practical for everyone now, but as time goes on, 8K 
Shinhei is only going to get better. Nonetheless, it is very cool to see as we head towards that new era. Where I did find this camera to be very, very impressive though with image quality is in its photos. Oh my goodness, do they look good. The Ace Pro can take up to 48 megapixel photos that are incredibly sharp, detailed, and dynamic. The ultra wide fisheye look makes photos seriously pop. I was impressed by some of the things that I just randomly captured at Super Nintendo World, Disneyland, and even CES. This will no doubt be a camera that I toss in my bag and travel around with on the regular because of how sweet the shots are. Like other Insta360 cameras, you can use the Insta360 app with the Ace Pro to preview all the photos and footage that you shot. You can trim things, add effects, and you can even edit full videos together in just a few taps. One cool new feature in here is AI Warp that adds a unique twist to your videos. This is a pretty neat new shot lab template that you can apply to the whole clip or to a specific part of it. What you're seeing are some things that I put together in the app with the cyberpunk effect. It is wild and trippy. Insta360 never ceases to amaze me with its robust set of free effects and editing tools. It is great stuff. And lastly, before we close this review out, I want to talk about the not so good things with the Ace Pro. First, as you're hearing right now, the microphone. The microphone built into this camera is pretty good, but if you're gonna be vlogging and doing a lot of talking, I would get an external microphone. And the good news is that you can use external microphones with the Ace Pro. So in a way that kind of does balance things out. The next thing is battery life. I found battery life on the Ace Pro to be very average. I shot mostly at 4K 30 frames per second and I averaged maybe a little more than an hour of record time. But it is worth noting that I was using the AI highlights feature, which is consistently scanning my video. So if you turn that off, you can bump things up to about an hour and a half of record time. If you're shooting 8K or you're shooting 4K 60, it's still gonna be less. So, you know, I would pick up a spare or use a portable battery if you're gonna be shooting for long periods of time. And the last thing is that this camera does get warm. You know, you're gonna wanna make sure that you give this camera time to cool off especially if you're shooting at that 8K, that 4K 60. Just something to be mindful of. To start closing this out, I found the Insta360 Ace Pro to be a solid all-around action camera. The photo and video quality is great, it's got excellent build quality with a useful flip-up screen, and it's backed by Insta360's amazing app and AI editing tools. However, as I mentioned before, it isn't perfect and it does have its downsides like a so-so built-in microphone and very average battery life. Despite its shortcomings though, I found the Ace Pro to be a fun camera to travel around with. It kept up with everything that I put it through. If you can live with its downfalls, it's a great little camera to toss in your bag and take with you on your adventures. Still, I can't help but feel like the next version of the Ace Pro is going to be the one that's going to blow all of us away. So that's about all that I got for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow Average Trasses on X, Instagram, and TikTok for so much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace!